So Steve, just been just over a month since you joined as manager. A few more days on the training pitch. Are we getting closer to what you hope to see for a sort of blueprint of a Steve Morrison side now? Um, yeah, I think if you look at what we're doing on the grass now, I think it's um, it's it does look a bit different to what's happening previously. Um, and the players who we've brought in, I think, have added value to the squad, uh, brought freshness to the group, and yeah, I think the performances on the whole have been have been positive. Um, everything, the numbers show they've been positive. The one we haven't managed to uh, uh, turn into a positive yet is the amount of goals we've scored. And uh, so, yeah, we're on the right path. I think. I think we're very close to what we um, to where we need to be to to start turning those draws into wins. Um, yeah, so on the whole, on the whole, pleased. Wish we could have uh, a couple of wins under our belt, but we haven't. Um, and I think the reason we need that is because that just gives those lads that extra like five percent boost that I think they need. Makes sense. In terms of playing personnel, we got Harry Smith. He's coming back to fitness after he got a few minutes against Doncaster. We've also got Jay Williams, maybe getting close to the match day squad. Do you have any further updates on the sort of squad fitness wise ahead of? And any potential selection headaches ahead of Saturday? Yeah, definitely. I've and I've got a fully fit squad now. So apart from the long term ones, um, Bards and uh, and Scott, um, everyone else is is fit. Uh, Bob Wilson's back in with the group. Craig Clay's on his last return to play day to day. Um, so he'll come back tomorrow. Um, yeah, so decisions to be made. Uh, people will be left at home. Um, some people will travel and then not get not make the squad and. Uh, yeah, so hopefully that that, that leads to um, a positive uh, uh, reactions from players at all times. Uh, everyone everyone has to be ready. Everyone has to be um, on their work every day so that they could be selected. And uh, yeah, it's a good headache. Healthy competition for places then. Yeah, nice. Course, yeah. Awesome. You've shown quite a lot of faith in the young players that you brought in. Um, one in particular who's been quite a bright spark, the diminutive scouser, Stephen Duke McKenna. Um, what have you seen so far from him and from the new players to suggest that they'll be able to really help us in, in the coming weeks and months? They've just got that they just got that energy, they've got that enthusiasm, they've got they, they, they haven't got any 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 fear, they haven't got um, years or months, however long it's been, of like stuff that's been negative or, or been part of the group so far this season that, that hasn't performed as well as they have done previously. Um, it's just that freshness and uh, yeah, no fear. As I said I talk to the players about being brave all the time and uh, uh, Juki especially has, has got that, Nino's mm. got that and Ollie's got that and uh, uh, I think Lakey's been, I think he gets kind of forgetting and forgotten about but I think he's been He's been class to be fair, yeah. Excellent. Um, added a real a real uh, energy to that midfield, which is exactly why we wanted to bring him in. And obviously, Jay's working hard um, behind the scenes to break into that into that squad. And, and Bouge obviously coming uh, on board for the rest of the season um, as a positive as well. So, I think if you looked at the team on Saturday, I think it was five new faces in it. Yeah. So, uh, um, uh, that's really pleasing, and um, I think they're showing what good players they are and, and sometimes they just need a bit of trust and belief in them and uh, I've got that in abundance and everyone else has and uh, on top of it all they're really good people and uh, they're really good people to have around and uh, uh, the lads will buzz off, uh, off them especially Juki. <laughs> That's great to hear. We've got three of our young players out on loan at the minute. Tope, Fadahunsi, Oli Kinder and Jack Taylor all received man of the matches in their respective games on Saturday. How pleasing is it for you to see them making that sort of immediate impact and going out on loan and kind of hitting the ground running? Yeah, hundred percent. I think you look at um, Jack. Uh, he's gone to Bourne Church, and obviously it's a it's a big step up from where he was, um, and top of the table team. And, and they're, they're, uh, they've had a lot of injuries, and and uh, he's come in, and the reports I've had back, he's been fantastic, and he's uh, um, yeah, it's another step in his development, and I hope he can stay there and be a part of what they're doing going forward. Um, uh, Tope, you need to go and get games. Um, it's not going to do him any benefits at all just sitting around and, and not travelling. Um, like I said, I see him behind the strikers that we, we currently have. Um, and he's gone to another good team who are doing well. Um, Olikin is a good player. He's, he's uh, uh, and Toby are at the same team. Um, Oli and Toby are doing fantastic. And yeah, hopefully we can get them to maybe step up to the next level of loan. Uh, in the near future 
uh, lots of issues have gone to Farmer as well. It's a bit stop start, you play the game, then miss the game, you play the game, and uh, again, for him, he needs to be playing. I thought, well, that's what we all need to do when we're at those ages, and uh, um, need to find their feet, and they need to make me want to call them back. And uh, they said, uh, when they're playing well, it obviously gives me that opportunity to do that if I, if I needed to. Yeah, positive signs. So looking ahead to Morecambe on Saturday, another interesting test on the road. What sort of threat do you see Jeb Brandon's side posing you? They, I mean, they brought in Jeb back in November, late November. Um, taking over from Derek Adams, am I right in thinking? Mm. What, what kind of threat do you see them posing now? Yeah, they're, they're a very good team. Uh, they're, they're, they're most, um, they're, very, they're, they're doing really, really well. And it's, uh, I think they're the, the, the highest overachieving team in, uh, in the AFL in terms of data and numbers. So, uh, um, yeah, they're a threat. They, they're, they're good at what they're good at. Um, so we need to try and disrupt that. See, it's a, it's a long journey for us. Um, and, it's the start of a big week, mm -hmm. one that the lads are buzzing for, I'm buzzing for, and uh, so apart from the weather, yeah. um, I presume it gets worse when you get to yeah. work as well. So. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, look, it's, a, it, it, it's the next test, and I uh, uh, can't wait for it. And obviously, um, hopefully, Morecambe have seen our games, and they're sitting there going, well, they're a different, different proposition to what um, they were previously, and uh, are worried about us. and. Uh, um, we need to hope we need to go there and put another good performance in. I'm sure they are. Players, I'm sure your players and staff, yourself, you touched on it uh, about a week ago, you, you know, under no illusion of where we are and the kind of job at hand. You, you mentioned it's about kind of keeping the faith. We've still got 16 games to go, a lot of points to play for. Is that still the message to the players, just to keep believing and keep keep working hard? Yeah, just a little bit. We're brave. We're, we're going to be, there's going to be ups and downs. Um, we need to stay as consistent as we can. And I think if we keep performing at the levels we're performing at, um, the numbers don't lie that we'll eventually start turning those those draws into wins um, maybe those losses into into draws at least um, and yeah just just not just the players everyone has to just keep the belief everyone has to keep the uh, um, we're no worse off than we were when we walked through the door a month ago um, but I think from a, a football club point of view and a, um, uh, a match day point of view I think there's, there's a, there's a bit more of a belief and a bit more of a uh, an understanding that we can we can do this if we if we keep doing this and, and stay consistent and uh, um, as I said a different feel to the group um, and yeah there's a real positive bit around the place and we just need to keep that because I think if that if we do keep that in place we'll go a long way. Fantastic well best of luck for Saturday thanks for taking the time to speak to us and all the best. Much appreciated.